Hello guys, this is Onkar and today I'll be showing you the Cyanogen Mod 12 beta version on the Galaxy S4. This will be this video will be consisting of the progress update of the Cyanogen Mod 12 on the S4 and the review of the Cyanogen Mod 12 on the S4. So let's go ahead and this is the lollipop on the S4. Uh, it, it's running it's running the beta 9 of the Cyanogen Mod 12 and you can see it's the typical lollipop lock screen and here we are on the desktop of the lollipop the main home screen of the lollipop so going ahead and we'll check our about phone of and yes it's running the latest build 5.0.1 of the lollipop version and going ahead we'll have a look at the cyanogen mod we'll look at the cyanogen mod goodies uh, or and let's have a look at the bug fixes oh, sorry for the mishap um, the camera is working perfectly there are no glitches uh, but yes the camera cannot be stressed quite a lot just because it's in the beta stage and we can't really expect much out of the beta stage but yes the ROM is really really stable and I can really recommend it for daily driver and yes the camera works flawless uh, both the front and the rear camera are working without any problem and the typical notification bar of the lollipop going ahead and the personalization which we always get in the our favorite rom cyanogen mod and but we can see there are quite a few missing things like the themes etc but we do get the status bar customization first is like the brightness control well status bar as you can see we can control the brightness by sliding over the status bar and then we can have a quick look at the quick pull down if like pulling down from the right corner will give you access to the extra settings and pulling down from the left corner will give you access to the notifications and going ahead uh, this ROM is really um, working flawlessly if you see there are no pretty glitches out there but not I just mentioned no pretty but there there are quite a few glitches over here and there I just as this ROM is in the beta stage you can't really expect much more stability in the terms of performance you, yeah, and as you can see some more some more there quite a few lag or drop of frame rates you can say but this ROM is really really smooth and it's like you can really go ahead and push it to use it as a daily driver and you can really use this for like mainstream phone there will be no problem there are no for, uh, sudden restarts whatsoever on the phone and I've been really testing this ROM for like a couple, oh, couple not a couple of weeks like a week or so but this, this ROM is really performing on its nerves and it really gives out the output in like the stable ROMs are for the GDI95 version, the, even the KitKat ROMs were not this stable as this 5.0 Lollipop ROM is stable. And I'm really impressed with the developers that have put their efforts in this, this especially like the Frappetti and all the developers. I would like to give a huge shout out to the developers. Thank you.